So you might be in a position where for some reason your particular Wi-Fi of your particular MacBook or your Mac or whatever is just not working. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The number one reason why this ends up happening for the most part is it could be because you're not properly connected to that particular Wi-Fi over that particular Mac. So what you want to probably try doing first is you just want to go ahead and make your way over to your you know, MacBook settings. So make your way over to your Mac settings. And what you're going to want to do there is you simply just want to go ahead and essentially re-see your Wi-Fi settings. Just double check you properly connected to it. A lot of the times if you're running into those types of problems, it can be because of your particular Wi-Fi settings not properly being connected. So this in and of itself can probably be a reason that you're going to run into. So just double check the connection settings of that particular Wi-Fi. And that would probably be the first thing I double check, you know, I would recommend doing. Just making sure you're typing in the right password and everything like that. If that's not working, another problem that can happen is that maybe you just need to simply turn off your Wi-Fi connection and turn it back on. A lot of the times, if you honestly do something like that, that's probably all you're really going to have to do. And that's another thing I'd recommend checking out as well is literally just turning on or like turning off your Wi-Fi then turning it back on. But if that's also not working, you can also just turn off your MacBook completely and turn it back on as well. So that's kind of like another option you have too. So you can literally just like turn off your Wi-Fi completely, turn it back on. That's another thing I recommend doing as well. If that's still not working, another thing you can try doing on top of that is literally just going through and seeing if there's an update available for your Mac. Now, if you have the ability of plugging it into an Ethernet port and then double checking that way, that's another thing I recommend doing as well. But if none of those things are working, you may just have to update your particular MacBook or your iMac to fix this problem. So you may have to temporarily move your Mac or connect it to a personal hotspot and then go ahead and update your particular Mac that way. That's another thing I recommend doing as well. And those things will pretty much end up fixing the problem for the most part. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other th thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.